hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys let me show you the error first as you can see here no audio device is installed if you are facing this issue this video is for you or any other issue related to the audio is not working or audio is not showing up here so this video is for you I will show you step by step how to fix this issue okay so simply you need to open the control panel first and once you open the control panel first guys you need to select here the category icon as a large icons or even you can choose the category here then click on hardware and sound then click on sound option as you can see here the driver is not showing up here if you are able to see your driver is showing up here so you can disable it and then you can re-enable it okay but mine is not showing up here so I have to move to the second number step so now let's move on to the services and open the services as administrator and press click anywhere on it press W on your keyboard and look for windows audio this option and make sure it services running if not right click it and choose the properties option and make sure startup type should be automatic start the service click on apply click on ok if it is already running just restart it once so once restarted check back if that fixer issue or not if still not let's come to the step number three you need to search here troubleshoot setting troubleshoot setting just open the troubleshoot setting then click on other troubleshooter and with the help of this we should be able to see your audio just run it and it has gone to the Microsoft website and once you run it you can see here do we have consent to run automatic diagnose to your PC yes just give it the consent and it will try to resolve your issue now now it is saying did you hear the sound beep that is plugged during the scan so I can select nowhere may I automatically try to update your driver to fix the issue yes you can just select this option and it is try to reinstall the driver you can see here it is trying okay it is not sure that it is able to fix the issue or not but it's trying so it is unable to fix the issue it is showing you will able to talk to an agent after providing the feedback would you like to do that it's up to you talk to agent let's try that so you have to sign in with your Microsoft account so I don't have Microsoft account so I have to leave this step now and we have to move on to the next step now so next step is to update the driver and also Windows sometime the window pending update can cause this issue as well so make sure you check for update all the drivers should be updated and Windows as well and along with the Windows update Windows will automatically install the driver for you if still not guys let's move on to the step number four now open the device manager and simply open it and before if it was running fine then you need to select your computer host name then click on action and scan for hardware changes but still it is unable to let's now let's move on to this section now sound video and game controller and you can see here it is down now so you need to right click on it and simply enable it and once you enable it you can see here it has become enabled and now right click and simply update it also you can right click it update choose this option then this one and simply reinstall the high definition driver here and close it 
and I'm pretty sure after applying this method also you can go to here audio video and sound controller update the both the driver here by same way and your issue will be fixed after applying this method if it is unable to fix your issue and auto driver is not listed here so you have to manually install the driver simply open the Google Chrome guys okay and on the search you need to type for your manufacturer model number let's open the system information I'm using here the virtual machine but open the system information here look for system model or system information so let's type here Dell driver and go to first official link and you need to put here your serial number just open this command prompt as admin on normal mode even you can open it simply like this and you need to type at one command here WMICCS product and by this command you should be able to get your serial number if you are not able to get your serial number just check your physical from back side or front side you should be able to see your serial number and even you can type your model number as well so let me show you with the model number latitude this option now I'm looking for the audio driver simply so it will fast the details according to your serial number that is the correct way to install the driver and simply you need can type for audio and it will fast the detail of Realtek or any other manufacturer which is recommended just click on this option and simply download the driver here download it I have already downloaded that so simply go to the here and simply double click on this and once you double click on this just install next next option and install the driver for your windows next you can close these and you just need to wait here until the pop-up is coming up as you can see here it pop-up should come up like this just click on next and yes I want to restart my system so finish it restart your windows and after that let me show you after restart system has restarted the pop-up should come up again and again you have to re you have to install that same driver and again you have to restart your windows in my windows that is not compatible driver that's why it is not popping up so in your case it should pop up and again ask you to restart your windows and after that your issue will be fixed so these are the fixes to fix the issue guys i hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching